Here's what else is happening tonight. A man known for his faith and his work at the Salvation Army was honored by the people whose lives he helped make better. A memorial service was held for Jared Plesic, who was shot and killed on Saturday during a crime spree. Channel 3's Dorsina Drakeford is live at the Salvation Army, where he volunteered for years. Dorsina, good evening. Good evening, Russ and Sarah. Jared Plesic was only 21 years old, but he lived a lifetime of giving and faith. Now his family says his spirit and his mission will continue to live on here forever. Three, two, one. Love you, Love you. Tonight, a celebration of his life. All the people who were touched by Jared Plesic's short 21 years on this earth. Everybody knew him. Everybody knew Jared, like, and everybody who knew him loved him. I just, I don't even know what to say. There's, it's just so senseless, heartbreaking. He had a spirit and a smile that could light up even the darkest place. In his years of volunteering for the Salvation Army, he had the opportunity to share his light. Hopefully this will, this will make an impact and bring people here because he was one for others and a sense of humor to match. When he was little, we used to call him Justin Bieber. And then when he got all them tattoos, I told him he went from Justin Bieber to Eminem. Early Saturday morning when Jared was heading to collect donations for the Red Kettle, that was all taken away, leaving his family in the dark. And he was the most Christian, the most uh, godly, the most kind, the most compassionate. He really was one in a million, they say a man after God's own heart. He was here for um, a great purpose, and that purpose was to touch other people's lives, mm -hmm. and he, he certainly touched mine. If you needed a scripture or encouragement, a helping hand, his family says he was there. According to reports, he was killed holding his Bible, an indication of what mattered most. His life was based on uh, the Bible. He walked the walk, talked the talk. There was no other way for Jared. Now the hundreds of people who miss and love him ask, what would Jared do? I think that probably on Friday when they have his actual service that it, it's going to be almost mind boggling because he was so well loved in this, in this community. Now that memorial service will be here at the Salvation Army. It'll start Friday at six. The family has asked for a little bit of help though. They need help transporting people from the Euclid Beach Villa apartments to here at the Salvation Army. So if you have a van that you're willing to help transport people to and from on Friday, please let us know. Russ and Sarah. I'm sure some good people will come forward. Thank you, Dorsina.